Welcome back, YouTube. It is a great day to be different. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you guys how to be different. We have a mohawk for you guys today. Man, we're going to jump right into it. First things first, we are going to brush, comb, lay everything down. We're going to pick everything out. We're searching for any type of inconsistencies or anything that's going to prevent us from giving this man a nice haircut. Yes, sir. We're going to prep for the edge up real early. Throw some hairspray on it. Follow up with the blow dryer. Get it to freeze. That way, whenever we come back for the lineup process, it should melt right on off. But here we go. Here goes the first step of the fading process. We're going to set in this bald line. Give it a nice curved round shape. First guideline is very important. It sets your foundation for how you are going to set up your haircuts. So we know we want a mohawk and we know we need this fade to be as contoured as possible to the shape of a mohawk. So we're gonna round it and we're gonna bald out as you can see right there. Yes, sir. Next step, no guard open. But I'm gonna attack the beard first, as you can see right here. I'm gonna notch out some dark spots. Usually I go wherever my eyes take me. And uh, the beard was just screaming at me. So I'm gonna go ahead and detail that before we move on to this stage right here. Then we're gonna apply the no guard open. We're gonna go up about an inch. Make sure that you set your guideline in. It's very important, it has to be nice and neat. And we're gonna follow the same shape of our original bald guideline. It's gonna be curved, nice and rounded, all the way through. If you gotta go over certain spots more than once, I would highly suggest make sure every hair in that section is nice and even, as even as possible. Yes, sir. Once that's in, we're gonna move on to the one guard second notch. And we're gonna go up about another inch, following the same shape. Yes, sir. Using your brush to clean off any debris. Next step, one and a half guard all the way closed, as you can see right there. And we're not gonna focus on setting in another hard line. We are going to flick out at the top. It's pretty much gonna fade itself into the top, as you can see right there. Continuing the same shape. Feeding the hair through the guards and flicking out at the top. Easy day. Yes, sir. Going with the grain to get the hair to lay down just a little bit, a little bit better around the edges, around the ridge of the head where it starts to round. And then we're gonna go straight into the detail process. As you can see, we're gonna throw on that half guard. We're gonna start off closed and we're gonna attack that line. We're gonna displace that line slowly but surely attacking the dark spots. As you can see, feather technique, clipper tilted, over exaggerated, using nothing but your corners, attacking nothing but your dark spots. The higher you go up, the more you want to open your lever. You're gonna start off closed, work your way midway, and eventually all the way open, as you can see. We're attacking the dark spots and the fade is coming together. Hit, brush, hit, brush, hit, brush. Very important. We're gonna snap that half guard off. We're gonna freehand just a little bit. It's gonna help blend the fade into the bolt. Yes, 
Very important to have multiple different techniques, man. Another technique, claw method. As you can see, just for this one side, we use the feathering technique, we use the flick out technique, we use the claw method technique, and we also use the free hand technique. Multiple different techniques for just one fade. Very important, it matters. Getting that hair to lay down, controlling that hair exactly how you want it to, Sometimes you gotta dig deep in that bag, man. Very important to have multiple different techniques. And we're gonna move on to the no guard. We're gonna start off closed. Still continue using your feather technique, using nothing but your corners, attacking nothing but the dark spots. You wanna move up midway, and then eventually all the way open. The higher you go up, the more you want to open your lever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fade coming along real nice. Jeez. Can attack that ball line. And we're not stretching. We're not chasing, we're not pushing the fade. We are just displacing those lines. The guidelines is pretty much putting the fade in there for you and then we're gonna displace those lines and it will blend beautifully. As you can see right there, coming together real, real nice. Hit brush, hit brush, using your techniques. Yes, sir. Putting this line in, it's gonna make that fade pop. We're gonna punch that in. He wanted a, a point in the back, so that's what we're gonna give him. He made that fade pop, crazy. Then we're gonna follow up with some pencil for some contour. Yes, sir. We're gonna follow up with the trimmer. Lighten up that pencil. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna move on to the other side. It's the exact same thing. It's a little sped up, but I'm gonna let you guys have it. We will be back for the edge up. Thank you. 
All right, well, we are back for the lineup process. As you can see, we're gonna start right in the middle. And we're gonna walk our way to the left side. It doesn't matter which side you start first. I'm usually standing on the left based off the way my station is set up. So that's the side that I'm gonna start off. Yes, sir, we're gonna punch in that corner. Hit it with some pencil for some contour. We're gonna start back in the middle. Then we're gonna walk it to the other side. Get it to match. Make sure it's nice and even. Yes, sir. Gonna punch in that corner. Attack the vertical bar. Slap some pencil on it for some contour. Yes, sir. And we're gonna move on to the enhancement stage. So we're gonna we're gonna lay down a wet base first, a wet foundation, and then we're gonna follow right up with the fibers as you can see right there. So the wet, very important for the wet to be wet, so that the dry fibers that follow up behind can stick. You wanna make sure that it sticks. So again, wet foundation first, gives you a foundation for the fibers to stick to. Dry fibers is gonna allow me to fill in that lineup, give it a much more natural feel, and get rid of that shiny look. As I'm applying the wet fibers, you wanna keep sweeping, tapping the trigger, moving at all times as you can see. We don't wanna sit still, cause then it will cake up and it will run. It's gonna be a lot harder to clean up afterward. So, Wet foundation, dry fibers next. And we're good to go. Then we're gonna slap some hot sauce on it. It's gonna allow me to clean up any overspray of the wet or the dry fibers. It's also gonna allow me to push that pencil over. And we're gonna mop up anything we don't like with a Q-tip. Hot sauce, push that pencil over, give it that razor blade look. Very important for those barbers who aren't comfortable with the razor blade or even those newer barbers who still don't have the razor blade in their bag, man. You can give that razor blade look without having to use a razor blade. Slap some hot sauce on it, clean up any overspray, push that pencil over, give it that razor blade look, and we're good to go. Yes, sir. Mop up anything we don't like with a Q-tip. And man, look at that angle. We're moving on to the beer process, but unfortunately my battery died, my camera died on me, so we didn't really get any content of the beard. But this angle is crazy. I'm just showing you guys what could have been. <laughs> but you guys remember what he came in looking like. Yes, sir, you guys remember. Jeez. When he came, to be different. Yes, sir. I recorded the finished product with my iPhone. So for any of those out there that are curious as to what kind of content you can get with an iPhone compared to a camera, here goes the finished product with the iPhone. And you guys can be the judge. You guys can compare the end to the rest of the footage. But yes, sir, that's clean. That's clean. Appreciate you guys for staying tuned. Like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you guys got to do to keep me on your timeline, man. It's crispy. We out. Peace.